Hey guys, it's less enthusiastic Chris Fix here. Um, I have a bit of a cold, so just bear with me. Um, today we're going to be replacing my Vano solenoids on the car. I think I've had them since, or well, they've been on the car since the original owner, and I've been having some rough idling issues, um, as well as some power surges, and I just want to kind of eliminate this as a factor. Um, they're pretty cheap. I got them for 85 each. Yeah, the replacement is pretty simple, so we're going to start up at the front here. Um, we're just going to unscrew these two bolts so we can get the snorkel off. Uh, this is kind of a pain just because of this little connection point right here, but overall it's pretty easy. And then this is going to allow us access into the engine down here to uh, take out the solenoids and replace them. We're going to be using a T20 Torx. I just put it on a normal screwdriver here and I'm just going to uh, take these out. That's one. And that's two. All right, now comes the fun part of taking out the snorkel. I'm just gonna start by detaching it right here. Um, there's little clips that you can see. Um, it's kind of hard to get it to come over, but once you do that, you can just pull it out like this and it'll just come out like that. Okay, so this is going to be where it gets a little bit challenging. First you want to make sure it's not hot down there, um, just so you don't burn yourself obviously, but these are the solenoids here. Um, one is exhaust and another one is for the engine. Um, unfortunately I couldn't get new bolts, so I'm going to have to be reusing these, but I would you know, recommend swapping out the bolts. Um, now unclipping these is kind of hard because you got to press down on this spring here and then you got to pull this out. Some people recommend taking out the solenoid first before you unclip them. Uh, it's really up to you, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take the first one out. So I'm just going to go ahead and unclip this since I'm not going to be using the solenoid. So you're just going to have to press down here, and then you pull it at the back, and then it'll just come off very easily. And uh, I guess I'll do the same for the bottom one. And there we go. The bottom one was much harder. Uh, just because I think it's more grimed up. But, here, let's move this out of the way. It's easy. Um, now to do the actual removal. Okay, so for removal we're going to be using a ratchet with an extension and a 10 millimeter attachment. Um, this is fairly straightforward. You just, you know, put it on the bolt and untighten it. There we go. Um, you obviously want to be careful you don't lose the bolt. Um, but also, these have oil in them and you don't want to get burned, so be careful when you're taking these out. Um, now taking them out can be a big pain in the ass, so you want to kind of move it down, like twist it counterclockwise, then try to pull it out. So you can kind of just jimmy it out, and move the wires out of the way here. And there you go, there's the first solenoid taken out. Oh, I mean you can't really see, but this is the original one, and on the inside it's probably very grimy. I've tried to have it, I've tried to have it cleaned out. Well, I tried to do it myself, actually. Um, and I, I saw some minor differences, but... Um, I guess it's just old at this point and not doing its job properly, so yeah, that's the first one out. Okay, so the second one might be kind of hard to take out just because there's stuff in the way here, so you can't really get the ratchet on it. So I personally took off the extension and just used the 10 millimeter attachment, um, and that worked pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's not good. So I was taking out the bolt, and it looked like it must have snapped. That's pretty crazy. So I guess I'm gonna have to get a new bolt. Tommy, you will break the car. Well, anyways, that's the um, that's the second Vanos out. Um, I guess it's kind of a miracle that it stayed in there. It wasn't even being held in by anything. That's kind of spooky. 
Okay, so reinstalling your Vanos is going to be pretty simple. Um, it's basically just doing everything the opposite way. Um, so these ones I got from uh, I can't remember what the company is called. Uh, I'll put the link in my oop, I'll put the link in the description uh, for you guys. But uh, this one's Vico branded. I got them for 85 each um, through a wholesale parts redistributor. Um, so it's just easy to plug and play. Uh, so I'll put this one in now. Okay, guys. So it seems that the seal on this is too big, so we're just going to take this off. Um, the last Vanos didn't even have this on it, so um, it's preventing it from going all the way in. Let's take that out and uh, reinstall it. Okay, so the first one is in. Um, I'm going to wait to install the second one before I put the connection in, just to make it easier. Alright, so both are in now and they're lined up, so I'm just going to clip them back in. Okay, they're both safely secure, and I'm just gonna go and bolt them back in now. Okay guys, so update, um, yeah, there's no way for me to get that bolt out of there, so we had to resort to using some metal sealant glue stuff. Uh, basically, it turns out I've just been driving with the snap bolt this whole time. Uh, I was doing some reading online, and there's a lot of people talking about bolt failures for this. So hopefully the sealant works as a temporary solution while I try to figure out something else I can do. Um, but I guess if I've been driving like this for a while now, I should generally be okay. Um, they are really hard to take out. Um, so yeah, hopefully hopefully that lasts. Um, but that's pretty much it for this. Uh, the last part is uh, reinstalling the snorkel, um, which is, again, super easy. So we'll move over to that. Okay, so installing the snorkel again, it's uh, it's pretty easy. Um, everybody likes to do this differently, so I'm just going to kind of experiment with a couple ways you can do this. Um, so, okay, well you clearly can't just put it in like that, so I guess you have to initially put the cover over. Um, and that's such a pain. Yeah, so you kind of want to put the cover over a little bit just so it kind of slides in and then you can immediately slide this part back in and then you just got to pull the cover back over. There's a clip here and a clip here and you just want to make sure it goes in there and then it slides in between a little piece of plastic back here. Uh, so that's it and the last thing you got to do is uh, screw it in place. So like before, we're just going to take our T20s and the screwdriver and screw these back in. Um, now I recommend not putting it in all the way just so it screws in evenly. Just gonna lightly put it in and then we're gonna do the other one. Okay, now that I got the other one in and I've tightened that one a bit, I'm just gonna finish off, finish off tighten this one. There we go. Don't tighten too hard because again, it's plastic. You don't want to damage anything. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. This has uh, been Less Enthusiastic Chris Fix, uh, back at you uh, with another DIY. So hope you enjoyed, hope it was helpful, and uh, you can catch me in the next video.